So hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more of our left KMT series, followed by probably uh, like an hour or so of the new order. But for now, we're currently in China. The civil war is not completely broken out quite yet, so we're just kind of hanging out in uh, the League of Eight provinces. But I would think within days, the illusion of Qing the Hegemony shatters. That's, that's what, exactly what we're looking for. The main god insurgency. The late leader, Dr. Sun Yat-sen, never gave up after all those years. Having been driven into exile more times than he can count, he carried with him an undying passion and love for his country. And his dreams of a national revolution have now passed on to us. Indeed, it was this fervor that uh, we launched a northern expedition. It was only due to the invention of German peerless that such a dream came to an end. Yet, like the great teacher, he, we never gave up as well. For years, we had a bit our we had to bide our time, reviving the revolutionary spirit that bl blazed fiercely through 1924, preparing ourselves for the day of liberation. Now that Germany's capitalist order falters and zealous authority has descended into chaos, it is our opportune uh, moment to strike. We shall strike hard and fight fiercely. Our goal is the complete consolidation of China's eastern seaboard under revolutionary authority. Only then can uh, the dreams of a second northern expedition and, and national unifi unification be achieved. It won't be easy. But as the words of Wampona's grave remind many of our dear veterans, if you fear death, leave at once. Cast away death and doubt and commit yourself to the duty of national salvation. Due to you, I bug, buttons that assign division to armies will not function. So we gotta press F2 and then F1. Fantastic. So we are starting off with a bunch of absolute garbage militia. That's fine, that's fine. Also, I need to actually set up my, uh, my timer here. That actually is pretty important for what we're doing today. Fantastic. So, we do get immediately some volunteers from uh, Italy, the Commune of France, and the British. I'm not going to say no to that. So, let's get our divisions together. We're going to not be... Because I don't think we need to focus on Lin Gong. Assuming that the uh, the war kind of works like it did before. We can probably just push our way up towards uh, Nanjing. That, that's at least my goal. For now, acts as a seam. Current morale, very high 90 points here. Appeal to international support, absolutely. Let's raise some nationalists. It cost us 10... I'm guessing that's 10 morale? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll spend 10 morale to maybe get two divisions. That sounds good to me. Hello, Kian, how are you? So what is our current missions? The Chinese uh, National Revolution, we need to access the sea. We need to secure Fujian, and we need to secure Ganon Prefecture. So you require us to take, presumably, this city. But I can definitely get that done. We push in like this. We need to move you here, move you here, move you guys up. We're not going... Is the U.S. site over? No, it's not over quite yet. I just need to record some more of it. But it's, it's, it's not over. Okay, the last bastion of Chinese socialism. The Anxing Kalik is going to war upon us. That is completely fine. So what do we got? We got to secure the second NRA. Or fortify the Mingon zone. Absolutely, we want to uh, form our second army. I think that just sounds better for us. Also, are we still at war with you? Yes, because you're still technically pumped to the Nanxing clique, but that should dissolve eventually. At some point. Um, currently, you are at 64%. We secured Ganon. Fujian is, I believe, probably. Is it you? Or is it you? Which province is this? We need Minhao. Okay. Minhao is you. If I can take this city, that secures this. Fantastic. So we take you. Let's take this city. The Glugong Kweek and the left KMT have signed a peace agreement. Also, I don't think I actually assigned a general to this army. Good work. Our, our army was just completely leaderless. Hello, Dominique. Uh, so let's go with Deng Yada. For our field marshal, let us put in Chen Quan. That seems fine by me. What, what what are your stats here? Offensive doctrine? I don't have any command points. So, fantastic. Okay, who not click? Okay, so you guys have basically just completely uh, abandoned the League of Eight provinces. I'm happy to, uh, to report that. And soon, international forces will be joining us. Sooner than later, I'm hoping. So, we're currently at war with Anqing. The Shaodong clique is also at war with the Nanqing, but I don't think we need to worry about them so, so much. We should be basically okay for, for the time being. For 65, we still need access to the sea. We have five days to control this point. Uh, you know what? Let's actually do 
I was gonna say maybe do a force attack. Can I force attack like a? No, we definitely won't be able to do this. Okay, keep these guys pushing in here, and I want you to reinforce this as well. And spies and secrets in a league war. In the aftermath of the Northern Expedition disaster, many disillusioned Wampia alumni scattered, returning to the villages, seeking employment in warlord armies, or even finding other, less savory sources of employment. There, a few remained loyal to the cause of Mingan, and fewer did not seek other ways to augment their income. In the days of the insurgency, lines often blurred between revolutionary and criminal. Liga 10 is a small but growing bunch of gangsters made up of former Wampa students, a splinter from Shanghai's Green Gang, led by one day Chang Feng. Uh, like many Chinese gangs in the era, uh, they are fraternal, nationalistic, and secretive. Unlike others, however, they retain some affinity for the Kuomintang clause, often a vital covert network for keeping the Mingguan insurgency connected to the outside world. It is uh, hardly to say that uh, we have not been double cross before, or that the League is uh, playing both sides. Still, it appears that Dai has achieved a major prominence in wake of uh, Sun Sha Fang's collapsed authority, and Shadow Age has begun trans uh, transmitting detailed, though sometimes exaggerated or out of date, information from Nanqing to our lines. Okay, so we need to get a little bit more radicalism. Civilian, we get some army intelligence. You know what? I'll, t I'll basically take whatever I can get. I will say, I don't know if we're going to be able to take this in five days. Um, actually, you know, four days. I think we, I can think we can take this in four days. We get 50 morale if we can take Nanqing in 16 days. Well, Nanqing is currently like... I, I will say, Nanqing is an extremely... <laughs> will, you, will you play Napoleon Kaiser Redux? Hello, Mr. Mister. Okay, we're at 90%. Okay, we've taken this city next. Raise man, you cost us 10. We do have, we have unbreakable morale. Let's fucking go, man. We get 50. We only lose 8 if we don't take Nanqing. And let's be honest. I don't think we're going to be able to take the city. But I mean, we could trade, train up some units. You know what? Give me two more divisions, please. Also, you guys, you guys should actually have a battle plan. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to get there in two weeks. As nice as that would be, it's just absolutely not going to happen. Okay, so Italy, France, and the British have all sent volunteers. We got one tank, two infantry divisions. Honestly, having an extra tank division is incredible, because there's not many factions in China in 1936 can actually field a tank. So we're feeling pretty, pretty good with this. Get our units up. We've gotten two more insurgents. So let's bring these guys all to the front lines as quickly as you possibly can. We still want to hold Nanchang if we can. It, yeah, basically our goal is to unite China and then fight the Japanese. Maybe we'll be able to join the Internationale at some point, but... It, it's hard to say. One, because I don't know if we're actually allowed to join the Internationale as a KMT. Uh, you, you never used to be able to join the Internationale. Uh, it used to be co its own separate faction. If we can't join through normal means, we might just hack it in. Um, are we going to do a different campaign for the last KMT campaign? I think, yeah, last time we did um, Song, right? So we're probably either going to stay with uh, Wang Jinwei. We maybe might, we might go Totalist. Again, I'm not too sure how you do every single path. So kind of what happens, happens. I, I didn't really, you know, I didn't prepare anything. You know, I didn't do research on, oh, how do we play as uh, this faction or, or, or whatnot. So anything that happens, basically happens. Return to the Central Committee. After a long and tension-filled voyage, a fleet of ships from the Internationale finally arrived in China. In daring operations in a mixture of supper twos and app planning, they successfully evaded interception by hostile ships in part because of an ongoing fallout of the mutiny in Mai Wei and the recent defections of the critical Fujian naval forces led by Chen Shaokan and uh, Chen Jilang. At uh, long last, the committee is able to step foot on Chinese soil once more since their exile in 1927. Owing to the ongoing fighting near the recently secured port of Jiamen, Wang Jinwei kept his remarkable remarks brief and with little pomp. Though the mood of the ceremony was nonetheless one of quite great excitement, he and other members of the Paris Space Committee quickly met with leaders of Mingan to establish a working government, and have been remarkably amble with one another despite lingering differences. Also disembarking uh, is the formation of, of European trained Chinese forces, carrying a sizable amount of successfully transport artillery. Trained overseas to the Wampai in exile, they are led by Deputy Headmaster Zheng Z uh, Zizhong, Director of the Political Department uh, Zheng Enli, and Director of the Training Program uh, Hu Zongnan. The last officer of note is Admiral Li Zilong, who has been uh, commended for his capable naval leadership throughout the operation. Okay, we get a bunch of new commanders. I 
think we maybe got an extra unit as well. Are you like a special? Oh, you are elite veteran level strength. Fantastic. Now, did I get better field marshals? Yeah, Li, Li uh, Jishen is definitely better. And our generals. I, I could have swore for a second. I thought this guy was wearing a cowboy hat. But yeah, let's get Yi Ting in here as well. And let's try to knock in our own units in circle if I could avoid that. Please and thank you. Okay, so return of the second National Revolutionary Army. We could get more support from the International. We can enforce some discipline, which gives us 15% organization for 50 days. Honestly, seems ass. So we're, we're not going to take that one. Fortification, I really don't think is actually necessary. Let's just petition the International for aid. See if we can maybe get the French, the Italians, and British to surprise us with, uh, with some guns. And I could maybe upgrade you. We have four command power, so no, we definitely can't. <laughs> I need you to go over here support this. We got two more units. I mean, I will say the KMT, they know how to train up some units. Take Nanjing. Okay, so we're going to keep getting this event over and over and over again. Okay, that's fine. Let's raise more men. Give me a little bit more guns. Our morale is still high. Leaving a whole position 90. We're, as long as we can get this unit to back off. Oh! <laughs> we were so close to losing this division, but my god, did we save them. I wonder if we can maybe... Chen Qian is less for Hunan. That's fine. Hunan, are you willing to join the KMT cause? Maybe. I, I, I'd be happy if you did, but I'm going to lean towards you. Maybe you're not going to do that. So I'm glad we were able to at least save this one division. Nanqing is still, like, absolutely nowhere within grasp. But if we can deal with the Anqing and then eventually Xiaodong, we'll be, we'll be looking pretty... We'll be pretty happy with this outcome. Okay, so the French troops that are pushing forward. When a man believes that victory is close at hand, he fights harder and better, is often said. Whether or not this is a true recent battle for success, it's done well to boost morale. Fantastic. Command power gain? I'm not going to say no to that. I mean, it's not the greatest, uh... Upgrade, but like why would I why would I say no? So you actually are on Qing territory. Which doesn't really do much to actually secure us our victory against the non clique. Not that we're really worried about losing to them at all. Hey, the third international. Oh, okay, this is just the uh generic event. I think every socialist country gets this event, so we're not gonna worry about it too much. Famine's breaking out in Szechuan. The delegations, let's not worry about that even remotely. I want one of you to go towards Hangzhou. I don't think that's going to capitulate them outright, but we'll definitely get closer. Syndicalism in Spain. Don't worry about that too much. Do we get anything for our um, women's role in the revolution? You know what? I mean, seeing as how um, powerful... Uh, like, her name is... What's her first name? I guess, I guess Song is her family name, right? Song Xingling. She's a, she's a very important person in government, so I think it makes sense that we would want to uh, support women's rights in this new China. Let's keep pushing you forward. We got Hangzhou. We got 6th Division in the south. And I want you to be moving your way towards Wangzhou. Comrades overseas. You get one civilian factory. Manpower, honestly, is not really that useful. Give me a uh, military factory, please. Okay, Communist France has sent advisors, army experience, and a little bit more support for syndicalism. Army, okay, so basically, we got some army experience, which I'm fine to have still. Left KMT has three paths. Um, Social Democrat, Total Radical Socialist. Yeah, so it's still pretty similar to how it was um, previously. Except I'm, I, I think they changed what the Totalist path is. Because it used to be the Totalists were... Basically, like, the secret police. Um, I don't remember exactly what they were called. The Anti-Imperialist Crusader. You strengthen the PAC. You strengthen the CRS. RCA. So what, are you, what, are, what, are, what are your stats? Political power, compliance gain, research speed. Stability plus 10%. I mean, that's always... I mean, stability you always want to take. Root out resistance. You're kind of garbage. No, no offense. So I guess let's go with um, the 10% stability guy. We'll almost be at zero. So, I mean, I guess I will take that. Revolution in Iran. 
So you're currently, you're very close to being dead. 21 days to try to take the city. And we still have got high morale. Very happy to see it. You can maybe move these guys around. Thing is, we're not going to be able to take Nanxing from the south. Like, that's... It's going to be either given to the Anxing or it's going to be given to... Um, either Anxing or to Xiaodong. There's no way we take this for ourselves. The path we'll be doing. Again, like I, like I said, we don't really have a set path in mind. We'll just kind of see where we end up. I do not like how you're kind of stuck here, to be honest. You might die, to be completely honest with you. I'm going to throw you underneath my best defense general. And at least see if maybe we could... Uh... Well, how about you? You're worth three victory points. Okay, so I think we've lost the election in Bunat, so they're not going to be joining our faction, unfortunately. Because you're worth 3, you're worth 20, you're worth 13. Okay, because you're kind of... Cause, no, no, you're on Qing troops. Which I will say are, are significantly less important right now than the alternative. Okay, we got motivated soldiers. Okay, another city has fallen to our troops. That gets you down to... Yeah, we need to take, like, at least one of these major cities. Because you're worth one, but you're not actually an important city. You, you've you died, like, I'm, I'm sorry to say. We can't save them all. Okay, so you can push you towards the coast. We still got high morale. But we are losing a little bit due to the fact that we haven't taken Nanxing yet. Occupation plans for Wednesday and other AOG ports have been severely lacking compared to the meticulous steps and lines of advance drawn around GMN. When NRA forced to occupy the city of Wenzhou, spontaneous and anti-foreign riots began all across the city, leading to the murders of numerous German residents and eluding of much of the city's uptown districts. To complicate matters, several smaller groups of nationalist troops also participated in eluding until more disciplined units arrived to secure the area. Wenzhou is now significantly more damaged from the civil unrest. Fantastic! But I think with our current revolution, I think it's be a good time for us to end off this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Nigel, we close them down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.